Today I am going to cook a stuffed marrow with mincemeat. We've got garlic, we've got a lot of garlic because we like garlic, we've got some mincemeat, herbs, rosemary, thyme, bay leaf, onions fresh from the garden and the marrow fresh from the garden. The first stage is to put a minced meat on to cook, and we'll do that now. Okay, now I'm going to prepare the minced meat. Open the packet. Oh, I'm sure you need to open the packet. And we put the minced meat in a pot. I'll just put some water in there. Just to loosen it. I've already prepared some mince meat earlier on, but this is how it's done. Uh, well, I'll get some water in there. Okay, this is one litre, so you put enough water to cover the mince meat. It's just to cook it. That's, that's enough water in there. That's yeah, that's one litre. One litre of water to. Seven hundred and ten grams of mince. Seven hundred and ten grams of mince. That's one litre water. Right. Now we bring it to the boil. We keep checking the mince meat. Don't let it burn. Keep checking it. Okay. While the mince meat's cooking, I'll prepare the vegetables. Chop the garlic up. You can chop it up very small, or but not too coarse, or else you're going to put stewed garlic and you wouldn't get the nice flavour, so chop that up like that, very small. You, like, you can put a lot of garlic or you can put a little bit of garlic, you don't, you don't have to use garlic if you don't like garlic, but um, you chop that up. Right, that's the garlic done, put, in, put that aside, now we'll do the marrow. It's like top and tail, you take cut the end of the marrow, like that, and then you can cut it in half and you have to scoop the inside out so the best way to do it is get your feet, get your hands in there and just scoop the inside put it to one side okay. just get it to scoop both marrows there you go doesn't matter there's a few seeds left it's not going to do you any harm if you're doing pumpkin, you can roast the pumpkin seeds. And it's lovely pumpkin seeds, so if you're buying it. Okay, that's one marrow done. Pumpkin side. See, that's okay, isn't it? Now we do the other half. Exactly the same. Scoop the inside out. Get it all out like that. You can compost that if you've got a compost bin. Or if you're making soup, use that to make the soup and strain it. You boil it and then strain it out and use the water to make your soup. You see, that's done. Okay? Right, now we do the next stage. We'll get the onions ready. So in, in the meantime, I'm just going to get rid of this and get the onions ready. Okay, I'm going to prepare the onion. Because it's from the garden, you've got all the soil. So I, because it's a small marrow, I'll just need one onion. So I'll take the, the roots of the onions. That's in there. Take the skin off. Give it a wash. Make sure all the grits are off it. You can, all, you can afford to take the top layer off. And then you know definitely there's no grit on there. Take the top layer off. I'll use some of the onion skin. 
as well. So that's all washed, that's all nice and clean. So we're not only chop the onions up. So we take it off the, the chopping board. One onion. There you go. Now I'm going to use some of the um, onion tops. So what we'll do, we'll take that amount of onion tops. Don't use too much onion tops because you'll be too um, too much green in there. Tidy it up. Okay. That amount of onion tops. That amount of onions. Now I can chop that up. I'll do the onion tops first. Get that done. Keep it small, not too big. Oops, that's okay, I'll get that in a minute, but that's in a compost bin. There you go, that's that one. I'll put that aside. And now we can get the um, the onion. Take the bottom of the onion off, eh? too much of that, that goes into a compost bin. And now we can chop the onion up. the onions small, not too big. I was you learn the stewed onions? We don't want that, do we? No. Oh, that's burning your eyes. It's nice and strong. Keep it small. And then we chop the herbs up in a minute once this is done. Don't forget the mincemeat is cooking in the meantime. You could reduce the mincemeat until there's no liquid in it, or else it'll be too liquidy when you stuff it into the marrow. Right, that's the onions. Just give it a little bit more of a slice about that. Okay, that's the onions. Now we should tackle the herbs. Don't chop the bay leaves up. Leave the bay leaves whole, but just stir it like that, because you wouldn't be eating the bay leaves. That's just for flavour. That's bay leaves. Okay. Rosemary on the board time on the board. Any soft leaf herb or dried herbs you could use. Now we can chop that up. Chop it up small because you'll be eating this. You, you don't want it whole, too large because it'll be too stringy. And the herbs is good for you so chop it up small. Because when it's cooked you have to mix it into mincemeat. Chop, chop, chop. Good. If you've got a little chopping machine, just put it into chops of fine. Right. Is that done? Now we tidy up. Okay, this is the mincemeat that's ready. Have a look at it and see all the water is absorbed. Leave a little bit of juice in it because when you turn it over, it all gets absorbed into the mincemeat. You don't want it too liquidy, but always check it to make sure it's not um, too dry. If it gets too dry, it's not, um, it's not very nice. Okay, the next stage is get a wok, swap that over there, get the wok on there, get that hot, and I'll tell you when that's hot. Okay, while I'm preparing the herbs and spices and garlic, preheat your oven, turn it on full, and just heat it up. And then we turn the heat down when we put the marrow into the oven. Okay, I just put a tiny bit of oil in just to brown the cumin seed in there. That's enough oil in there. That's about what? Two tablespoons of oil? Right, that's hot enough. So we put two tablespoons, two teaspoons, sorry, my mistake, two teaspoons of cumin seed. One. So you don't put too much in, or it'll be too too seedy, right? That's two teaspoons of cumin seed. Oh. Then I get a bit brown. Can you see it? Okay, a little bit brown, and that releases the flavour, but not too brown, unless it goes bitter. So you can't leave this and walk away and have a cup of tea. You could actually watch it and get it done. Okay, there you are. See the look, the colours change, can you see it? Yes? Okay, now we add the garlic, the chopped garlic. There you go. 
Not the bay leaves, because the bay leaves will pop, so be careful you don't add the bay leaves in the hot fat. This is really is. Give that a little stir. Turn the garlic away. Well, leave that. Don't keep turning it, because what you do, you keep turning the cold air in, it takes longer, so leave it for a few minutes. And when the colour starts to change, then you just turn it a bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that's ready. Add the, the herbs, the chopped herbs, and the chopped onions. Put it all in there. Give it a stir. Give that a stir. Just a couple of seconds, just to soften it. But not too soft, don't give it too stew. You want to keep it firm. Just a few minutes, just to get all the garlic in it. Right, that's ready. Now we add the mincemeat. Okay, so here we go. Stir that in. Stir it all and get all the onions ready in this one. Some people, if they like it a bit hot, they add a little bit of curry powder to it. Just a, just a tad of curry powder to it, not a lot, just give it an extra flavour. It's nice to have it plain to it. Okay, that's all stirred and now we just add a little bit of garlic salt to that. Tiny bit of garlic salt, just like that's it. Mix that in. I'll turn the heat off because that's the carry on cooking on the hot ring. You don't need to have the, the ring. Right, the next stage is to get your marrow. And now we have to be careful it's hot. Of course it's hot. And fill it. Do it carefully. You don't have to rush. Carefully fill the marrow with the mincemeat. Tap it down, see if there's several gaps in there. Right, and we do it to the other side as well, so just tap it down. I'm just going to get a good knife and just push it down a little bit just to fill the air gap. Press it down like that. That's it, that's plenty. Not too much, as it'll go for right. That's okay for one. You can, if you can stand it up in something, you can actually cook it like that. So, but what I'll do. Fill the other one. Stay there. Get the other one filled. If you're a vegetarian, you can do this with vegetables, cherry tomatoes, um, peppers, sweet corn. Do exactly the same thing and stuff it like this. And you've got a vegetarian stuffed marrow. Put more in there. I just get the knife and just gently push it in. Oops. Don't make too much of a mess. Not necessary to make too much mess. Okay. Let me stick one bay leaf in there, in that side there. Now, this is the tricky bit. We have to try and get those together. But because it's a little bit loose, what I'm going to do, hopefully, is to get a bit of foil. I'm trying to pad it out so it stays together. Is that work? Is that work? Yep, that works there. And now we put it into the oven. It's hot. Into the oven. And you bake that on 190, 190 to 200. Bake that. Bake that for for 20 minutes, check it, and then um, if it, put a, a knife through it, and if it's very, very soft, it's cooked. If it's still a bit firm, it needs cooking a bit more. But I'll time it, and I'll let you know how long this takes. Okay. 180. It's been in for one hour, exactly. But according to the size of the marrow, it could be a little longer or a little less, but you have to test it. Okay, this is it. It's very, very hot. 
I just showed you just a little gap there. I'm just going to um, just lift it a little bit for you so that you can see. Okay, look, see this mince meat, there's the marrow. And if you just pierce the knife through, that is cooked, that's soft. And that's all done. And all you have to do is slice it up. You can have rice, you can have pasta, you can have it cold. It's delicious.